Nani, tell me what you're doing. Um, we are making our own lightsaber in Disney. Whoa, check it out. This is weird. This is crazy weird. Wonder what this does. You probably put your like, piece in. Put, give uh -huh. me piece. And welcome everyone oh, oh, to the down. workshop. I know that all of this here is a little, um, well, a lot. But for us, this here is everything. I see that you have met everyone upon arriving. Excellent. You can all call me Kembe. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're looking around this room and you're just seeing a bunch of old junk. Well, I can assure you that some of this here is new junk too. <laughs> now, all of us here in the workshop, we humbly call ourselves the gatherers. And as the gatherers, it is our job to search the galaxy for ancient relics, forgotten places, abandoned outposts, battle-ravaged planets, and what we find out there in the galaxy, we bring here. So where, a wandering stormtrooper, might look around here and just see worthless clutter. Those who know, you and I, we see priceless history. And in these troubled times, Preserving our past very well may be the key to ensuring our future. Now, do all of you know the legend of Luke Skywalker? Yeah. Yes. Yes, of course. But we hear that there's another, that there's a new Jedi out there, and she's forging her own path in the galaxy. A scrapper like us. What's her name? Ray. Ray, that's right. What Ray's leading is the spark of hope that we have all been waiting for. And it has led all of you here today to build this a lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and darkest enemies. It is elegant. It is enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art. The lightsaber is a reflection of its builder with the force flowing between them. And today, all of you are going to feel that connection. So, let's get started. We begin with perhaps the most important component of the lightsaber, the kyber crystal. The crystal is able to focus the energy of the force to magnify it. Some say that the crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal will determine the color of the blade like blue. The blue kyber crystal has been wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now Rey. Green. Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and of course, Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal. Now this one is rare, beautiful like the one wielded by Mace Windu. And red. Red is said to be the color of power. The crystal of Darth Maul. Saj Ventress. Darth Vader. And now Kylo Ren. But all of these are just stories of the past. And we are here for all of you, our future. Now is the time for all of you to select your own kyber crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. Builders, please close your eyes. In your mind, I want you to picture your kyber crystal. What color is calling out to you? And remember, it is equally as likely that this crystal is choosing you. Now open your eyes and take your kyber crystal. I see that all of you have taken your own Kyber crystal. Well done. Now please carefully place it on the green crystal plates on your stations. Because now that you've done that, you can join it with the saber design components all of you have selected. We move on to the hilt. Now the hilt, it is the foundation of your lightsaber. The hilt is your center of control. The hilt is primarily the purple of the crystal. Very important. Wow. Your saber design boxes on your stations. Inside these boxes, everything that you will need. Inside these boxes, 
side note, again on the left with your chassis. We'll go to the right with your activation plate, and then back to your grips, your emitters, and your pommel caps. So everyone, before we begin, remember, with your lightsaber, it is a personal journey. Just as all of you have selected your own Kyber crystal, all of you will now build your own unique lightsaber. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask the gatherer in front of you. And now, let's build. Great times, my friends. My name is Scotty, and I'm your gatherer here today. So, we're going to take a much closer look at this chassis. So, you got your blade up here, you got your vents. Underneath the vents is going to be a little uh, spring. I wish we were going to load this type of crystal into the chamber. So, if you do need to, you can slide your index finger in through the chamber. Sandwich the type of crystal between your index finger and your thumb. And that way, you can use that as a support for when we're ready to push the type of crystal in using this thumb. You're going to push it into the spring, and it should be out just a bit. <laughs> if, you are, if you do need some assistance, please let me know. Got it. Whoa. Wait, it's a blink cage. I see that. That's lovely. That is awesome. These are the options. Which ones do you like better? These? Okay. Look. Um, these are your, uh, you'll, you'll see inside the activation plates are going to be red, a set of red and blue markers. You're going to notice on your chassis those same red and blue markers. You are going to connect the markers based on the color. You're going to match those colors. Blue to blue, red to red. There's no blue, but there is a red. By the way. Yeah, so one, side, one of them is going to have blue, one of them is going to have blue. There you go. It only has red on this. Uh, and then let me know when you have successfully connected to the Push hard. Alright. Now, you're going to slide up on the activation switch. We're going to test it, make sure it works. And then we're going to slide it back down. Whoa. Can I, can I hold it? Wow, that is cool. And then right to the right. Can you test mine? Yours is good. Excellent. So, you're going to start with the grips. Which grip type do you want? Check them. Is that the one you want? Or do you want this one? Alright, so once you've chosen your grip, Watch. Uh, you're going to take this band, that, uh, the really thick band that's going to be on one end of your grip. You're going to slide it into the activation plate, push it in and twist at the same time. Oh, the grips. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to choose one of these uh, four, uh, one of those four. You're going to just choose one of the four. Can I see? You're going to uh, take the uh, bronze colored band. One more the for the the bronze there you go. Band. It's in there. So whichever one of these you want, take the colored band, slide Whoa. it into the activation plate, push down and twist at the same time. You did great. Got it. All right, so now you're going to do the same thing with the, one of the three grips you have left. So whichever exactly. one you like, you're going to take the same, uh, you're going to take this uh, silver colored band. So that's the one on the top now. Other one. So you want that one? You're going to take this end and slide it into the top now. Flip it. Flip it. There we go. And you're going to do the same thing that you did for the first one. So now you're going to take one of the three you have left. You're going to slide it into the top now, push it down, and twist. Right on the bottom. Always remember, ready tight. Always remember to push down and twist at the same time. It's not going to get you. Have to use there you a go. little bit of force. Kind of like bringing in the tower. Alrighty. So you got it. Try you to got it. it. Alright, so now you're going to choose your emitter. So whatever the two emitters you want, uh, so you're column three now. You're on column three. This one or that? That's a good one. I like that. Whichever one you take, you're going to rest it on the top of the emitter where the blade comes out of. Yes. And then twist it in on the bottom. Whoa. Oh. Now, when you're ready, you're going to flip the entire hill upside down. It is only distance for a little bit easier. Are you ready? Yep. Now you're going to choose the, uh, one of the two end caps. Which one of these do you like? You're going to rest it on the top. Which one do you like? 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 
Alright, and then whenever you're ready, you're gonna uh, you're gonna uh, rest your hilts on these raised quilt seats. Wait, does this one go all the way down? Yeah, let me see. Let me make sure. Yeah, sometimes it's cross. we can easily get cross threaded, so yeah. if you have it upside down, you're gonna rest it on top. I'm gonna get it started to make sure it catches the thread in the way it's supposed There you go. You have to finish listening that if Okay. Wow. All right, show it, put it in its, its spot. That is great. Yeah. All right, so when Kenby tells you to activate, you're going to slide up on the activation switch, slide down to deactivate. Excellent job, my friends. I'm going to take a picture of it. What do you think so far? Cool. That these, is. these are bigger than the toilet papers at my house. I know, it's dangerous. You're going to have to be careful with it. Slide down to the Right, right. Dad, don't look at it. If you look at it. Donnie, look at me. Get Uncle Chris with it. It still is unique to you too. Who knows what you got? Mommy, what that looks like blue. I think it's pretty exciting. Do you have any plans for the gallery? Yeah. This is real. No, I think it's, that is honestly the best way. If you're out there, the instincts take over, and who knows what the galaxy will unfold. You've definitely done your research. Great job. What a legacy between these pieces. And power and control. Tell me about that. Why did you choose that? Um. I've never watched the movie. I just chose, I just chose this. But I know this is one of the powerful ones mm. in the in the show they put on. And you like power. Yeah. And you would agree he likes power. And control, I'm gonna guess. Okay. Yep. So that's gonna be a good fit for you then. And I chose a blue crystal and oh. I went with the color red. And I went with the outside color red because red is my favorite color, which mm. Um, well, it seems like a very good fit for you then. Mm -hmm. Great work. And excellent work to all of you. You all completed your hills. Now take it in, a true reflection of you. And now that you've all completed it, we can move on. And this next part of the process is the most dangerous. Mm. So everyone, please take a big step back from your stations. It's now time to stabilize the crystals in your hills for activation. Watch as the gatherers take the notes from your stations and they are carefully placing them into the crystal stabilization chambers. This part can be um, volatile, but affecting at times. If things don't settle properly, like the emitter matrix becomes inverted, it can cause quite explosive results. So we've definitely seen our fair share of that during the workshop. With many punch, you began with the heart of the saber they are joined, much more they will become. It is time. Master Yoda. It is indeed time to take that next step. The final step. In just a moment, all of you will step forward. You will then place your hand on your hilt and on my signal. We will all activate together. Builders, it is time to forge that bond. Step forward. Don't pull it out. Place your hand on your hilt and activate. Builders, raise your lightsabers. Whoa. You have all built your lightsabers like the Jedi and Sith who have come before you. Like them, you too can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. Builders, please deactivate your lightsaber. Just a moment. Complete your lightsaber is. Choose your path, it cannot, but like your way, it can. May the force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. Now, builders, in your hands, a 
all of you hold remarkable power. And this remarkable power should not be dropped on the ground. <laughs> so, as you depart, you will receive a saber sheath to protect your lightsaber. Now, our, our time has come to an end, but all of your journeys, they are just beginning. It is time to make your mark on the galaxy, and remember that you are all as unique and as extraordinary as the lightsabers you have built here today. Maybe next time we'll be telling your story. Raise your sabers, and activate! Congratulations, builders! Now go make your mark on the galaxy. Safe journey. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Slap right down.